The work that I created is called Ellipsis. I would say sort of the initial image or the concept came from me, but then as soon as we started to work together, and we've worked together for so long now that uh, everything really started to become collaborative. So the title came from her, so I wish she was sitting here beside me to explain why. So it was a duet that we started creating um, just in, at the end of September, and so it was a pretty quick uh, process of getting it all together. My style uh, really comes from what I call intricate partnering. Um, so I sort of describe that as two or more uh, dancers kind of interlinked in a, in, a, in a sense. So lots of lifts and um, can be big and grand like I think this duet is a bit more or a little bit sort of small intricate detailed um, movements that cause and affect each person. Generally, I find for me it works well in a duet setting. Um, and then I've started to kind of break it down so there's a bit of a formula. So once, once the dense kind of um, duet has been created with, with the partnering, um, I've started to find a way to kind of break it down and pull it apart um, and then be able to create more material. I end up making this extremely long list of words and so they they are words that represent each movement and they're always verbs because the partnering is very cause effect and um, physical and then with that epic word list Hillary and I then come together and it changes all the time but some iterations especially for this duet here um, we would each create a move that represented that word and that's sort of what you saw in the when the exam table was in the middle of the room and we each kind of did moves independent of each other and then we would freeze uh, so that came from this word list so we called it the word phrase this image just came into my mind of an exam table. I didn't know why, and I still don't really know why, um, but I kept looking for this exam table and finally found this beautiful one that I love. And in the drawers were those purple gowns, and there was this beautiful um, cassette tape that was called Normal and Abnormal Breathing Patterns. And so that's what Davis used for the sound design. They took it and digitized it, and then were able to affect it and layer it and, and play with that. I definitely have a long history of women's health, um, you know, informed choice, all of that is definitely in there and probably inherent in that object. It's just kind of become part of the piece in in a real way perhaps at the beginning and then it starts to unravel into a surreal a bit more of an abstract world once the piece has been performed then I start to gain more information from it by having it performed in front of an audience so it's still very much alive, curious what will happen. So I asked Davis if they would design the sound and um, using the tape, that was kind of the huge, that, that cassette tape, a huge basis. Um, and Davis told me later that they actually recorded their own voice. So all the sounds on that design are either their voice or from the tape. So it's kind of all in the realm of human voice and breath. 
So over the course of about four weeks, I'd come to one or two rehearsals a week, sort of bring the things I'd been working on. Um, we decided that the music would all be performed live so that it could sort of be maximally responsive to what was happening in the dance. So the score is, is, is sort of the same in terms of its big parts, but every night is going to be slightly different um, depending on how I'm feeling and how the dance is, what kind of energy I'm getting from the dancers. It's a bit of an unusual way to work, I think, with dance to sort of score once the, once the whole show is kind of done, um, but I think was really exciting and I hope successful in this context. Yeah, there's always those variables, right? Like to sort of improvise with what's happening. I think I really like that kind of things happening that you may have to adjust to or that it affects, that it affects me. It's a live performance, yeah, yeah.